Spoilers for future seasons of House of the Dragon. We hear a few mentions of the Dance of Dragons throughout A Song of Ice and Fire, about how the dance was really the beginning of the end for the Targaryens. The dance itself claimed many of the most prominent dragons in the realm. A lot had happened over the conflict. Daemon hired Blood and Cheese to kill Aegon's firstborn son. Aemon and Daemon both died over the God's Eye. Rhaenyra had taken back the Iron Throne, and during her rule, the former Queen Helena threw herself onto the Iron Spice of Maegar's Holdfast. And the night of her death was marked with violence across the city. A man called the Shepherd led a mob and preached not only against Rhaenyra, but the dragons as well. Whipping the small folk into a frenzy, they stormed the dragon pit. Queen Rhaenyra's son, Joffrey, tried to take his mother's dragon, Cyrax, to save his own dragon in the dragon pit. Sadly, Cyrax bucked Joffrey. All the dragons would die by the hand of the small folk. The last to die was Dreamfire, who crashed into the dome, bringing it down and killing not only herself, but the attackers. Cyrax went to the aid of her fellow dragons, but was ultimately overwhelmed. This was the most destructive day in the war for the Targaryens, with five dragons dying at one night, crippling their dynastic rule. 